All right, in this video, I want to talk about one of the great free tools that's out there for DBAs. Um, it allows us to look, take a snapshot of what's going on on the server right now. It's by a, a guy by the name of Adam Mechanic, and it is called SP Who Is Active. To find it, it's pretty straightforward. We just open up a browser and we type in S SP Who is active download there's Adam's blog we click on Adam's blog I have no idea why my browser is slow today and there it is pretty easy to find um, all right there and there's again there's the amount of detail he goes into is is quite granular however we won't focus on that. We do want to focus on talking about uh, one thing, and that is how to capture what's going on on your server right now. And secondly, how to capture what's going on on a server over a period of time. So we can look back and see throughout the day, possibly, what's going on. So let's take a look. And here it is. And all you do is drop it on there. Uh, most people put it in the master database. And you just run it. And it's really that simple. And if we drop down, we will see that it certainly is in the master database. And let's go over this window and simply see what I got workload. I've got a workload going. And consequently, I've got a workload going with a tool called uh, SQL Query Stress, which is also written by Adam Mechanic. Yeah, he's a, uh, I don't use the term expert. Uh, a lot in, in the SQL world. I mean, there really are only a, a very small percentage of true experts. Adam's one of them. Um, Kimberly Tripp, Paul Randall. Paul Randall is certainly uh, up there. Um, uh, you know, Kim Delaney, Brent Ozar, Bob Ward, uh, Mark Duncan. Um, there, there, there are a few, right? Some, some guys at Microsoft. But there are few and far between. And uh, Adam's one of them. He's given a lot back to the community. So, where are we? So, we it tells us what's going on and which queries are taking the longest to execute. So, here we can see this query is uh, taking two minutes to execute. He's, he's by far the longest. And it gives us information in the text of the query. Right? So, we, if we click on it, we can see the what's being executed. All right, there it is the text of the query and let's close this so we don't have to deal with that close that and it gives us the login name of the individual that's doing it it also gives us the weight information which I love uh, because I love weight statistics here we've got some async network going on async network IO it has nothing to do with the network this has to do with uh, SQL Server waiting uh, for something outside of SQL Server to process, so it's it's waiting. It's, in, it's kind of like a just sitting there waiting for uh, data to come back. And this usually happens uh, when something uh, when uh, something uh, a thing called rebar row row by agonizing row, and it's doing that because I'm using the tool I'm using does row by agonizing row. You can see we're processing one row at a time. So SQL Server is waiting for this information, waiting for it to get done to move on. All right, again. A set network IO has very little to do with IO with uh, the network IO. All right, so the, another great is another great one here is the the CPU is nice, right? Uh, but blocking this tells us right away. You you drop the script on and you, you're using this throughout the day. Someone calls and says, "Hey, what's going on in your server?" Well, we can't get to it, so we run it, and sure enough, oftentimes you'll see you know you get to see this bit blocking. And you script to see the head of the blocker and go take a look at what's going on and kill it if you have to, or you know, whatever. But it's got just a ton of great information, right? Awesome, awesome script. So it's not just it's not just a script that we can take a snapshot to see what's going on. It's got a lot of of, of things that are done in the script that we can take advantage of. A lot of uh, Variable. So let's take out. We can do who's like. I think we can do a uh, at help. I think that's correct. 
and no maybe it's a bit flag so we'll say equals one and it gives us a whole bunch of help information about about the script all right really just awesome I mean it's and you know there's a lot a lot to it and if you go back to Adam's blog he has a a 30-day blog where he goes through pretty granularly over uh, almost all these steps of what you can do with this right now we're going to take it a step further other than just looking at the what's going on on our server right now all right we can see what's going on, on our server a lot because I have a workload going and there's not a lot going on right it's just a whole bunch of selects so if we declare a schema of our car max we're going to execute it with the get plans which is awesome right because now I get to see the plans of of what's going on and that's really important because if we have say one of these look at this guy you know he's going on six minutes execution time I want to see the plan of this guy so you know am I missing some indexes what's he doing uh, clustered index scan uh, scan that's bad right we don't want scans we want seeks so we can come and look if we show if we get the the option to show us the the query plans it's just awesome so if we go a little further and we throw these options on here so we're going to output we're going to the schema the plans I want this creates a table for us to create and then we're going to create a job we're going to execute this so we can capture this over time so we run this and it creates a table so now we want to create a table to capture our historical information of SP who is active so it runs that's great we move it back and now all we have to do is set up a job to capture that information and if we did a select select all from let's see where our tables let's go take a look at our tables SP who is and now we get some historical information of what was going on at that particular time of the day what was executed in the longest we get the show plan of that so if we if we were to capture this throughout the day we put this in a job copy this right we went down here and well let's say we went down here and I'm not going to go through starting this started and say we created a job out of this we ran it every five minutes from say um, your your core hours let's say your core hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every five every ten minutes whatever you think uh, is enough for information to capture this you can get a really good idea of what's taken longest right so you can just do a select and look at what what's taken longest and then you can come and, and find out why it's taking long and maybe how to troubleshoot it using the query plans all right so again uh, this was a little longer than I anticipated I was hoping I could make it a little more brief but it really uh, I, I get excited when I talk about uh, who is active because it's just I use this every day this is such a great tool I come here I see what's going on and oftentimes I can tell well, within milliseconds of running this what's going on I look at the blocking to see who's blocking what to see what's going on to see if uh, the weight info all right does this back up does the weight info back up what I'm seeing maybe elsewhere all right so just a quick video on SP who is active and how to create SP who is active uh, with some of the switches into a table and to capture that information for some historical analysis later on all right thanks for watching